smoking these cigarettes, man, would end your life sooner than expected. If you keep smoking these cigarettes that's killing you, harming your, your body, the one that God blessed you with, you can you can die before your actual time to die. Now I'm making this video out of love for and I'm making this video, you know, for somebody to wake up. I don't, you know, I don't care who don't like it. I don't care, you know, if you be like, oh, he judging me. He's like, I, I ain't judging you. I'm just making a point. I'm just, you know, trying to help you because I'm seeing so many people, they sucking these cigarettes, allowing that tobacco smoke to get into their body. And then these be the same ones that be crying and complaining about they don't feel good. My bones hurt. I feel tired. I'm exhausted. Doctor, uh, uh oh, uh oh, doctor, what do you mean I got lung cancer? Uh oh. And I'm not trying to be funny. This is this is just real. Doctor, what you mean I got cancer? What you mean I got throat cancer? You know? And you you know, and these were the same people that be crying, come crying to God. For him to heal them. These these are the same people. That be crying to him. Wanting him to heal them. But you won't put that. That cancer state down though. So I'm going to just touch on this. Just a little bit you know. Uh, elaborate you know. Just get my little two cents on that. What's up YouTube. It's your boy Spiritual Jake. Coming back at you again. With another video. I pray everybody's doing well. Y'all staying safe out here. You looking out for this evil wicked one. Uh, we praising and worshiping the Most High Yah, the Most, the Most High um, Elohim Yahshua every day, all day, um, cause there's there's no other God. Forget all y'all y'all other y'all other religions because they don't mean nothing. And God never created religion anyway. He wants you to have a relationship with Him. You should have a relationship with Him, and not being some other demonic religion. So let's just jump right into this. And also, let me address this in this video before I start. Cause I feel like I had to address this. Um, if you if you don't like the fact about me having you know this little this little old earring in, if you don't like the fact about me having that, and you so you so stuck on me, you so stuck on what what the person have on, then to hear the actual message that's that's being given here, then this page is just not for you. I I don't need none of your comments. I don't need nobody hitting me up saying, oh you know God. Don't want piercings. God don't want this. And and you and you the one that's probably sitting over there with a tattoo. It's a lot of women who comment on people who got piercings in, but these women got got the whole piercings going going on their ear. And do and these are the same women that got something to say. So I just need to um um address that in this video. My page just may not be for you. If you can't get past of what somebody have on. Stop being so religious. Okay? You're not better than, than nobody else. Stop focusing on what people have on than, than focusing on the message. Focus on what the message is, is being brought. Now, let's, let's jump right into this. So, these people with these cigarettes, man, because it's starting to like, it, it really pisses me off, you know? Because I'm tired of hearing people complaining they they complain about you know they feel they you know they feel so exhausted oh i'm tired from working i'm tired i'm this i can understand you tired but a lot of these people don't realize that those cigarettes are a majority of the reason why your bones hurting your heart hurt your heart feel like it's it's feeling funny you know you you looking older than than your actual age you wondering why, you know, some people that I know had breast cancer, lung cancer, you know, and throat cancer, and God healed them from that. But they going to go back and continue to keep smoking these cigarettes. Even after the Most High even delivered you from it, and you're going to go back to keep smoking these cigarettes. What kind of... what? what what kind of stupidity is that? 
that's that's just that's just being stupid because how you gonna you know the the father he he delivered you he he healed you from that that cancer and stuff so instead of you thanking him and praising and worshiping him for healing you from it you're gonna go you want to continue to keep smoking your your cigarettes and and to and, and you and and then once you once the problem come back once the cancer come back, now you in the hospital, oh, Lord, Father, you on your knees and you crying and you, you got your hands up there and you crying and stuff saying, oh, oh, Father, 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 please heal me from it. Please heal me from it. And, and, and he already healed you from it. But you went back to it. Come on now. This is, that is being stupid. Yeah, I'm gonna use stupid. I don't, I don't like using stupid, but I'm gonna use it for this video because it's it's a lot of people that's just being stupid. You killing your you killing this body that he blessed you with. Scripture is clear, don't put no filthiness in the flesh. Don't put no filthiness in the flesh. But what y'all doing though? I I gotta smoke me a cigarette. It gotta calm my nerves. <laughs> It got to calm my nerves. It's not calming your nerves. I'm telling you that. And I'm and and I'm telling you, it's not calming your nerves. It's killing you. Man, Satan is tricking so many people. Satan is tricking so many people. But, you know, these these are the same, you know, and this is the same people that says even when you tell them this stuff, they say, "Hey, this is my body." This is my life. Let me do what I want with it. Okay, well, when you start when you start having health problems, don't don't start complaining to anybody. Don't don't complain about it. Don't make don't be like, oh, I'm going through this, I'm going through that. Don't nobody care. Don't don't nobody care. Because you know that cigarettes is, is bad for you. Yeah, I might not sound like I'm I'm being loving. I might I might sound like I'm not showing no love, but hey, get out your feelings. Put your feelings to the side and just hear the message. Yo, sensitive religious people, man. It's so many religious people that's just so sensitive. You're so sensitive. You say, and, a, and the father wants you to be bold as a lion, you know, and stuff. Wants you to, you know, get out your feelings and doing all that stuff. But a lot of these people, man, they just so sensitive. If somebody got on something that, that they don't like, they're going to make a comment about it. Then they're uh, losing sleep because somebody... Said a said a uh, scripture wrong. Losing sleep because somebody had on because somebody got earrings on. Losing sleep because somebody, or uh, what didn't didn't say Jesus didn't. Oh oh let let me let me say this one because somebody I seen somebody had a problem with this other dude who this other dude got a YouTube channel but this one dude came on on his channel and gonna say why don't he pray before he start the video. Why don't he pray? What kind of foolishness? How much? How foolish do you sound? Yes. Okay. Pray. Pray for yourself. Why do you? Why? So you're not gonna watch the video because the man didn't pray. So the man. So you. You think that the man is a false teacher because he didn't pray before before he made the video? I'm not talking about me. Then nobody said that to me. But I'm talking about for somebody else. Like, come on. We focusing on the on the on the most foolish stuff. We are focusing on the wrong things. They're focusing on what really matters, and that's getting the word out. That's getting the message across. That's waking people up. But y'all not focused on that because you so focused on what somebody have on. Bro, religious people, people who so called people of God, are some of the most annoying people that I've ever met in my life. And I'm saying that boldly. I get along with people in the world more than I do with people in ministry. These are some of the most annoying people I have ever met in my life. They're so judgmental. They so and then they they stare at you like, oh, what's mm -mm, who is that? Who is that? Like, look what they got on. Look what they doing. See, I'm not going. I'm not. I'm not losing no sleep behind you smoking cigarettes. 
I'm not losing no sleep behind you smoking cigarettes. I just all 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 I do is pass a message and I go on by my business. After I get off, after I'm I'm done with this message, I'm going on by my business. I'm not going to lose no no sleep behind people smoking cigarettes. I'm not. But I'm just giving this message out because I feel like somebody needs to hear it. Or you need to share this message with somebody in your family who needs to hear it. Everybody's not going to receive you. I understand it. But at the same time, you know, it's people that's dying. It's how many people's in the grave right now behind cigarettes? How many people are dead right now because of cigarettes? How many people, you know, got lung cancer right now, throat cancer right now? How many people got these holes in their in their throat right now because or or they they own these uh breathing breathing machines and stuff? How many people like that right now because of cigarettes? And these are the same people. These are probably the same people that's that's praying to God every day for Him to heal them. Look how foolish this is. This is foolish. This is sad at the same time because you do stuff. That's like me. That's like me going, knowing that if I go rob this store, I'm likely to to get caught and and uh, go to jail. So I use my free will. Or I, oh, oh, father, I know, I know, I, I can go to jail if I do this, but hey, I need me something to eat, so I'm about to go rob this store. I go rob the store and then. I get caught. Police surrounding me. Throw me in jail. Now I'm in there praying to God to, to get me out. Now I'm in there, Father, I need you to get me out. I made a mistake. Father, I, I you know, I knew it was wrong, but can you just get me out this one time? And I won't do it again. You see how foolish that, that sound? So look at it with, with cigarettes. You know that it's killing you. You know that cigarettes is bad for you. But look how the devil is tricking your mind. Look how he's tricking your mind. Mind you. What the scriptures say? You sow to the flesh, you're going to reap destruction. You sow to the spirit, you're going to reap eternal life. Now, smoking cigarettes is not a sin. It's not a sin. But you are sowing to the you you are sowing to the flesh by smoking these cigarettes. You're gonna reap destruction. And what is the uh, um destruction? Like I just said, lung cancer, throat cancer, all these other bone problems. This you know your your uh heart feeling funny and stuff. That's what you're gonna reap. That's what you're gonna reap. Destruction to your flesh. And then and, and then you're gonna be crying and complaining to, to God. The devil is tricking so many people, y'all. Just like he tricked your mind for smoking weed. That's that's gonna be my next video. I'm gonna make a video about smoking weed. Why smoking weed is bad for you. But look how he's tricking so many people. Oh y'all, y'all uh uh hear that? You know, he don't, he don't want this uh, message to, to get across, but guess what? This message is going to get across because somebody needs to hear it. Now, I'm, I'm just going to say this, you know. Because when you, when you sow into the flesh, when you sow into your flesh... Oh, thank, thank you, Father, for, you know, for cutting that thing off. Because this enemy, man, he been attacking. This enemy been attacking. Oh, he been coming hard. You hear what I'm saying? He been coming real, real hard. And I'm and I'm seeing so many people. Lately, y'all, if you if you not if you not woke and you not paying attention, you seeing that it's so much destruction going on. I'm seeing so many people who are going through suicidal thoughts, who are who are depressed, who are stop turning to Facebook. Stop turning to Facebook. Facebook is not going to help you. It's not going to help you. 
It's just, it's just a bunch of nosy ass people on Facebook. I'm going to do an updated video about Facebook too. But cigarettes, these cigarettes, y'all, are going to destroy you. And they're destroying you as the day go by. And when you and when you keep smoking them and you looking older than your actual age, you wondering why you, you getting so many wrinkles. You wondering why you getting gray hair when you 30 some. You wondering why you know you, you look 50 but but you're really 20. No, you you look 50 but but you're really 30. Let, let's say 30. 30 years old and somebody trying to say you 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 somebody grandma. You somebody grandpa. Nah, it's just the cigarettes. That tobacco is destroying people. These cigarettes are killing you slowly. I ain't gonna say slowly. Let's say fast. They're killing you fast. Now, I understand. It is hard to stop them because when you've been doing it for so many years... When you've been smoking for so many years, and then all of a sudden, you just got, you want to up and just quit? No, nah, it don't work like that. It, it, don't even work, it don't work like that for weed either. Now, let me tell you something, because many people can stop smoking weed easier than cigarettes. Why is that? Because cigarettes don't get you high. Cigarettes make you feel good. That's like with smoking hookah. I don't know if y'all ever smoked hookah before, but that's like with smoking hookah. Hookah can get, um, it can become, you could be an addict for a hookah. Very addicting. Why? Because hookah, hookah calms your nerves. It calms you down. That's the same thing with, with uh, cigarettes. It calms your nerves. But let me tell you something. Don't, don't we always say, what feels good to you, it ain't always good for you. It's not. Sin feel good to you. But it's not good for you, though. It's not good. Having sex feel good, don't it? Fornicating feel good, don't it? But it ain't good, though. It's a sin. Getting drunk feel good, don't it? It feel good to your flesh. But it's a sin. It's not good. Cigarettes might calm your nerves for a second, but it seems like when somebody smoke one cigarette, uh, let's say about two, 10 minutes later, they going back and smoking another one. Five minutes later, they going back and smoking another one. This is what's happening. Because that feeling, that temporary feeling, it's going to go back down. So when people start to, when, when people start to get agitated, they start to get mad. They they get bored or something like that. Hey, I need a cigarette, man. I need a cigarette. This cigarette gonna calm me down, man. My man, I'm irritated. My nerves, man. Oh my god, about that. Man, that cigarette ain't doing nothing for you. That cigarette ain't doing a damn thing for you, but killing you. But Satan wants you to think that hey, it's helping you. Hey, this this cigarette is really helping you. You gonna you you gonna you know you 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 gonna you gonna feel better. It's like for weed. Well, let's let's go back to weed because people can stop smoking weed faster than cigarettes because weed get you high. Some a lot of people don't like the feeling of being high, and I can understand it. You know, sometimes the feeling of being high ain't no good feeling. Not always. You know, but cigarettes don't get you high. But let me tell you this: it will definitely put you. It will definitely put you in the grave faster than we would. I promise you that. It's a lot of people that's making their bed right now, for for the grave. It's a lot of people that already got their tombstone. Uh oh, I'm gonna I might just get real with you. It's a lot of people that already got their tombstone ready. It's a lot of people that are already, their name is already, their uh, death certificate is already written out. I, I, I mean, all of ours is already written out. But a lot of people is, the the actual date that was meant for you to die, it's like, that day don't, don't mean nothing no more. 
let's be that that day up a little, you know, more more further. Let's let's do a little earlier time than that. Because that's what the, these cigarettes are doing to you. These cigarettes are putting you in a grave way earlier than you are expected to die. And you know, the most high would send somebody to you to at least encourage you to stop smoking those cigarettes. To kill because you 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 killing yourself. But a lot of these people are brushing people off. They say, man, I, don't, I ain't man, I ain't, I ain't trying to hear you, bro. I ain't I ain't trying to I ain't trying to hear you, bro. Like I'm I need to smoke my uh, cigarettes. See, this is what they are saying. This is what they are saying. They are saying they they you know they they saying y'all hey man I'm not trying to hear you bro, I'm not trying to hear you I need to smoke my cigarettes. Hey I hear what you're saying but hey, oh this is what they say all the time hey we're gonna die anyways. This is what they are saying hey we're gonna we're gonna die anyway so hey might as well you know we might as well just smoke these cigarettes, shoot, you know. Okay, well, I ain't about, I ain't about to say too much more in this video. That's all I had to say. Um, at least try to stop smoking cigarettes, or share this video with somebody who you know that smoking cigarettes and they need and you want them to stop. Um, at least share the video with them. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'm out. Peace.